Health Minister Kehele Rambukwell stated in Parliament that certain factions are deliberately attacking the health service by presenting false facts. The minister said this in a reply to a question posed by the opposition leader in Parliament on Tuesday. You speak of the woman who died after being administered a drug at the Peradine teaching hospital. This drug was first imported to Sri Lanka on the 21st of October 2013. It has been in use for almost two decades and was imported by the reputed Bowers company. When the woman in question developed a situation, there were 12 others who were given the same IV present at the ward at the time. In total, 16 people were given the same vaccine. It appears the data is coming from the Kumbudesh laboratory. You are obtaining information from the Kumbudesh laboratory and yelling in the house. You are saying that the woman in question died of poisoning. That is a crime. This is a planned attack on the country's health sector. At one time, it was exploding gas cylinders. After Gota Rajapaksha left, the explosion stopped. If someone is engaged in such low acts, we will look into it. We withheld that particular batch. Do not confuse withholding with withdrawing. You said that three medicines failed the quality test in 20. 17, there were 93 medicines that were withheld. 43 medicines were withdrawn. There were many forces in play. These emergency purchases were being made in accordance with the provisions for the guidelines on emergency purchases related to the health sector introduced by the Treasury. Also, during the purchase of these medicines, it is said that the relevant purchase has been made subject to the reduction of prices from the substantial responsive bidders who have submitted bids in this regard and that the purchase has not been made under those prices. Also, in carrying out these procurement activities, bids have been invited from bidders who are registered from the National Medicines Regulatory Authority and have an MRA registration with delivery schedule and available stocks, so there is no problem with the quality of these drugs. The main reason for this deadlock is that in the last period of NMRA, only one of five documents is passed, the other four are not adopted. I stopped this disgraceful work, that's why they have launched this attack. I can withstand it all. I will allow the leader of the opposition to ask for a debate one day. Let's talk about you as a party leader. It's not surprising that such a situation occurs when you go to a hospital. That's what hospitals are for. If 100,000 enter the hospital, not all will come back fully cured. Unfortunately for them, there is a flower shop in front of the spiritual house. This is the reality. If someone wants to get a ministerial position, that's a different story. But the problem is that by doing that, you have also misled this country. I will personally come to talk to you about this. I will come to your office. If what you say is true, I will accept it very humbly. I have no argument for that. If there has been such a mistake on my part, I will be subject to whatever punishments you give. I believe there are flaws. I can't say. There are no flaws in this situation. Do not betray this free health sector to fulfill those ambitions. I did not place the Kumudesh laboratory report for the hands out. I placed the report from the National Medicines Quality Assurance Laboratory. Does that belong to Kumudesh or the government? Are you saying that I am lying? I do not produce false reports. This was withdrawn on the 29th of January and was used until June. That is the issue. Do not try to cover up these acts. We are ready to debate. There is no problem about that. But those debates must have the reality on the ground. There must be real conditions. I don't agree with the debates that people make for their own wants and needs. The situation will be worse than it is now in another three months. At present, one person is dying every week, and in the future, two or three people would die in a week. These unregistered medicines are now being distributed all over Sri Lanka. Why can't you stop it? There is a procedure for that too. That procedure will take three months. You are simply intimidating the people with regard to the free health service. I am speaking now. And I was listening to what you had to say. I am ready to speak. It appears you all are specialists. If there is a shortcoming, we will address that. You are speaking of increasing deaths. What are you trying to say here? This is a blow to the free health care system in the country. When one thing is asked from the minister, he responds with another. You are speaking about V. Nataraja from Peace Associates. The tender process was not followed.